Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, going to have a preview for the Morgan game coming up at weekend. So I've got Dale on and I've also got Andy. Uh, great to have both, uh, have both of you on, uh, guys. Uh, so we'll just get talking a, a bit of a recap at weekend, uh, Andy. What's your take on yeah. the game? Some people say it's a it's a point, you know, but others um, are saying it were pretty scrappy and could have probably, you know, nicked it in the last minute. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't get to the game anyway because I, I was working till till, so uh, hmm. I dashed home and uh, listened to it on radio. But uh, to what I heard, it was um, a very scrappy game. It don't sound like I miss much, but uh, I'd have took a draw uh, before hmm. game, um, and it sounds like it was a hard fought um, draw. Yeah. It don't sound like it was best match um, we're ever going to be involved in, but it doesn't matter. Another point top board away, um, and that's the main thing, really. Yeah, I mean, what I might take on it well with it is that I thought it was going to be two one-bounds, even I thought it was going to be two apiece. I did think more goals, in it. if I'm being honest, uh, yeah. where we are. But then when you kind of look at the lineup, the points tally, we more or less like matched it so it was going to be kind of like nullified one another out, you know what I mean? And I think it was a shame yeah. because I think if we had some like poor free kicks, um, you know, I think we could have done a lot better on them what positions that we got in. Maybe we could have nicked it in like last few minutes when Norwood, great crossover by Cadden and Norwood just yeah. couldn't convert it. But a point of fair result. I were impressed, or what I like to see as well, was Luke Connell a bit of fighting spirit to end with having a bit of a go at Ian Everett. Um, yeah, and again, I heard it's about that. that togetherness, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's what you want yeah. to see togetherness. Yeah, um, bit of fire in belly, isn't it? And uh, you know, um, showing a bit of passion. That, that's what we, that's what we want, like to see. Um, you know, it's like the. Adam Hamill type of character, innit? Um, you know, um, art on his sleeve type of thing. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, good to see that. Um, also about this, um, I heard about um, where they were putting water on towels or something for, oh, for our yeah, long yeah. throw. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give to them. <laughs> quite ingenious, really, but... Uh, yeah, uh, it, it, in one way ingenious, but on the on other hand, it, it sounds a little bit uh, a little bit childish to me. But uh, yeah, um, not well, not to yeah. tell away, but we'll just get it soaking, uh, so it doesn't make any difference <laughs> about it. So yeah, a bit bit of a weird one, but uh, and you couldn't make it up, really, could you? I mean, I did FA Cup uh, on Monday, just trying to think it days before yeah. come up, um, and. I'm like going, you know, we've just been saying off air, and you know, draw FA Cup. You don't want anybody from the same league and this sort of thing. No. And lo and behold, what do we get? Bolton away. It's like you couldn't make it up, could you? No. I, I, I was um, shopping at the time and um, I, I had the uh, thing on and I tuned in a little bit late, so we must have been one of the uh, first ones to be drawn yeah, out. Yeah, um, I think what third ball to get drawn out. Yeah, third yeah. ball to get drawn out. And uh, Maddie uh, sent me a text of her saying we've got Bolton away. I thought, oh no, you're joking. Um, <laughs> we go again. But, but yeah, it, like we were saying uh, before we start, it, it, teams from the same division, it doesn't seem like a, a cup game, does it? Like a cup atmosphere. Um, no. It's, um, uh, I, I was hoping for a non league time, me at home or something. Well, when you look at, I've just been uh, saying there, Dale is that you know drawing Bolton away in FA Cup and for me it'll not seem like an FA Cup tie because you you've got someone from the same division and you, you know you look at potential other other teams that were in it South Shields and all that kind of stuff. It'd be nice to ever you know draw one of them kind of teams, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, mate. It, it would have been um, it it would have been it would have been nice. It's just one of them, just one of them. Lucky draws, isn't it? Really, at FA mm. Cup, it's. Uh, I were a bit disappointed when I heard news. Um, just, just one of them things, isn't it? It's. 
you know, it could be a it could be a blessing in disguise to go back there and actually uh, get get a result there because Saturday Saturday was well the more, the less said about that the better it, it weren't it weren't great both teams were poor in my I think opinion. They both cancel one another out because we're like I was saying to Andy we've got more or less same points tally more or less same lineup as in formation I think it was just a, a game we. Uh, it to take a bit of quality to open some it up, but it just like I think it like cancel one another out, didn't it? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Um, I think it was uh, their their defender Santos. I think the uh, the bit he was like six foot six. He he, mm. had, he had everybody in his pocket, and um, I think our best. I think our best um, area at pitch were, were our defense as well. You know, yeah. we didn't we didn't let them get in. We didn't um, they didn't let us. We, we didn't create anything. I think our best chance were uh, was was Norwood. Yeah. To be fair, with that header, and it just went off at bar. Um, but listen, it's it's a point away from home. Mm. You know, mm. you can't you can't grumble at that. I mm. think that it's got to be that's got to be said. Um, I think I think for the last couple of games we've been quite poor. Um I think Fleetwood away. Um I think we battered Fleetwood. I think we could have got four or five before half time. Uh we were looking to get that 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 one goal. Um Exeter at home, well, we didn't turn up at all for that, to be fair. <coughs> um but then Bolton it, it were it would I think it would just two big league one sides just battling it out against mm. each other and just seeing who can who can who can cough first and you know what I mean it's it's just it was just one of them things it, it, but going you know I don't know what you guys said about Markham I don't know if you've come on to that yet but I'm mm. sure we will um, I just think that it's a game that I. Want want us to win? I think it's a game that we. No disrespect to Markham, I think it's a game that we need to win, and 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 that's. I think it's. With no disrespect to him, the bottom at league. I think a team of our caliber and 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 size in this league need to get three points. Yeah, just I mean, just before we get on to Markham, I've seen that Bolton are going to. And it looks a, a proper retro kit and all. They're going to play uh, in a retro kit on the FA Cup with lace. Oh, yeah, like proper, proper. I like, I like it. I like the old style, nineteen twenties, thirties kind of thing. I like, mm. proper like that. But yeah, coming on to the Markham game, um, I kind of see this game going. I don't know what your guys will think about it in a minute. I kind of see this Markham game as then a bit like a Fleetwood or a Cheltenham when they come home to us. Is that the Dan via via Bart St. League, but we'll see it as a what can I say? Like a bit of a scalp taking on us up in up in like playoff spot as we are at minute. And I can see Markham playing like a frustrating game, trying to trying to get into us kind of thing. And I don't mean it is in an attacking way, just to frustrate us because like ruffle a few feathers. Game, yeah, you look at the Fleetwood yeah. game away. We had we had chances, but the frustrating thing was is that one more score was going to come, and it might be Cheltenham game at Tom. It was it matter time we were going to score a goal, but when were it going to come? And the more the game went on, the more the more frustrating was. Like it's there, but how are we going to go? And I'm looking at the games after. You're looking at Markham away, then you've got Lincoln City at Tom, and then Forest Green Rovers at Tom. So you look at them, V, you're thinking we need to be getting for me. And I'm not being, you know, people might say, oh, no, you're getting two five. I'd be looking at nine points for you. I'd be, I'd be wanting three wins for you. I don't know what you think on that, Andy. I mean, am I being greedy? But look, going to Markham again, how do you see that going? Um, yeah, I, th- I mean, I think it is going to be a difficult game on uh, on Saturday, um, w- w- without a doubt. And, uh, you know, they know um, where we are at league and, you know, they know that we can play a bit. So I, th- I think they will uh, make it difficult for us. And, uh, yeah, you know, we, we are trying to be, how can I put it, a bit disrespectful to Markham. Um, and we are trying to be 
a little bit like we're we're the bigger club type of thing, you know. We, we haven't really got a right to say that we we can go mm. there and and win. I think it's going to be a tough one. I think I personally think first goal in that game is going to uh, be vital. Honestly, do and I, I think they'll. Uh, yeah, I, I think they will make it very, very difficult. Um, in the next three games, yeah, I'd be looking for at least a minimum of seven points. I would, uh, I would uh, be looking for easily. Uh, but uh, as we know, against uh, Exeter at home, you know, no games are given, is it? You know, no, no, no. It, it, it depends. Um, how we play on on day. Um, what the heads are like on day. Um, a lot of factors, but uh, yeah, uh, if we don't get at least seven points out of these next three games, I'll, yeah, I'll be disappointed. I know I said um, uh, art team Bondingdale uh, up at Peak District again, something what uh, Duff really believes in togetherness between players, and I think we've seen that you know from start of season uh, progression. Uh, Setbacks against obviously Wickham and Exeter, and we haven't, you know, take a watching and move on with six games undefeated. You would take all that into account. And I think we, we've got to in the league, and you know, certain players that manage this has been like recognized for you know, a, a manager at player at month, goal at month, and all that kind of stuff. So I think he's in, in, installing this kind of way and philosophy of it at players and this team bonding. It's, it's something else he believes in because he had him up at coal mining museum a couple of weeks ago and all because he want he believes in that the togetherness and what it means to the community. Going on to the Morgan game, that team bonding you obviously want to see it come on, but do you do you like kind of agree with Andy that I, I know where you're coming from with that? We're, we're not a big a big club is in stature kind of thing, but as in performance and work wise, they'll see it as a scalp Morgan against us, Dale. Absolutely, mate. I, th- I think, you know, um, no, again, no disrespect to him, but, mm. you know, they're, they're down there for a reason. You know, that they're obviously not, obviously they're not getting the points that they need. Um, and obviously they're struggling on, on that point. But um, I think there's, there's, there's a player that we, that we all know that we're missing and, and, and I don't know if you've said this before, and and we've we've missed we've missed Luke Thomas for the last three mm. two three games, mm. you know, especially after his injury, and it, it's it's not nice to see a player out for that long, especially when he's he's just coming to back into the side and he's wanting game time, you know, he's been kicked out this this team for so long, he's he's actually starting playing well, and 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 you know. It's sad to see, but I think Mark, I think it will it will be a it'll be a it'll be a, a coupon buster if 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 we if we do lose to Markham. I think yeah. I think if it's it, it is it's going to be one of them results, you know. Because mm. um, look, where we're pushing for playoffs, we're pushing we're pushing for promotion. You know, we're we're an old championship side. Yeah, we weren't a good one last season, but <coughs> I, I think we've got to go there. Full of, we'll be deflated from Saturday. I think. I think we'll be deflated still from Exeter. Mm. But like you said, with that, with that um, team bonding up in Peak District or Yorkshire Dales, mm. I think it, especially with armed forces as well. I think there were yeah. a few armed forces there as well, weren't there? Yeah. I think that would have gave him a little bit of. This is actually what we need to do to actually get results and. Because you can't, you can't be, you can't get results if you're not a team, mm. you know. So I think, I think we've got to hit them straight from the off. No sitting back, no, no gain on counter attack. I don't like playing three. I don't like playing Aitchinson from from beginning or Cole or Norwood. I think one of those three need to be on bench because yeah, we've got no right. attacking threat. Yeah, we've got no attacking threat coming off at bench. No disrespect to uh, Fabio Jallo. Everybody was singing his name at Bolton. Everybody were wanting him to come on, and he never did. And I felt sorry for mm. lad because he put in a, a, a stunning performance against Donny. Mm. Um, maybe that may, maybe that might be a little bit a step too much for him at this moment in time. Um, 
it might it might come back in when fixtures start getting a little bit more hectic. But I think I think we need to play. I think we need to play either Norwood, Aitchison, Aitchison, Cole, Cole Norwood. I think we can't keep. Hmm. I don't think playing those three from start work, um, especially uh, Aitchison and Devante Cole's work rate and pace. Um, you know, I think save them for a second half run. Um, Norwood, I had a little bit of a disagreement with a, a, a fan at Bolton. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just thought his work rate, his work rate needs to be upped a little bit. I think hmm. he, he's, he's making his his runs off at ball are tremendous, brilliant. I just think he needs to all ball up a little bit better, and because is that is that type of player that gets you other players riled up and things like that. Um, I just think it, it just needs to just calm and send down a little bit and just and just get all that ball, have a few shots on goal. Because, you know, because um, I, I felt sorry for him on Saturday because he was, he was making those runs. It weren't just going for him because yeah, he was yeah, getting beat up in the air right. by a six-foot-six six defender. And, you know, it, I would have put call against him. Um, yeah. But we all know how good uh, J- uh, James Norwood is on up in air because he, he wins most of his headers anyway. Mm. Uh, but I think more, I think more, it'll be tough. It will mm. be tough. Mm. Um, I think it'll be. A, I think we've got to just get Adam straight away. We've got to get Adam yeah. straight away because Saturday was Saturday weren't great, mate. Mm. Oh, yeah, like I said, I think Bolton game for me. For me, like a, a, a case, uh, a bit of quality, either a set piece, something like that. Uh, because, like I said, you look at point system, it, it, everything was saying win, you know, wins, draws, losses, even formation, and it was just cancelling one another out. I don't, and to be fair, if it had been 10 minutes of quality, 15 minutes of quality, all the way through the game from either side, it'd have been very lucky. It was just one of them games. I'm not even going to care about ref because I'm. I'm I'm past caring about that because I've got my thing on that. But for for I mean for for me for Markham game would I change all different? I think I'd change a, a, a few players. I'd Collins. I've still got my doubts over Collins. I, I, I think his confidence is just since he had that broken nose. I think he flapped a, a few court crosses when we came in low crosses. He didn't make him. One came across in second half, I think. And he went to the back post, and now he didn't score it. I don't know. Uh, it like it is legs fires and went out. Mm-hmm. Collins is going to start, but uh, that's uh, that's my opinion anyway. <laughs> uh, right back, I'd have Tom Edwards. I didn't think he did out wrong. I thought like he had a decent game. If back three defenders, I'll keep same. Kundi adds uh, Anderson, probably in kitchen, and I'd like I'd start Cadden, Nicky Cadden. Not uh, Laresh. I thought when Karen came on, I thought he made a bit of a difference down uh, side. Midfield, I'd be going Luke O'Connell. I thought he had another eight game. Uh, took it to him. I'd have Benson. I'd have Josh Martin in uh, Thomas's place. I want to have Aitchison there, like what you said, Dale. And mm-hmm. up front, I'd probably go for Aitchison and Devante Cole. We know we don't bench. I don't know what your guys think about that. I mean, Dale, what do you think about that? You were on about uh, leaving it. I, I, I agree with I agree with back five. I do agree with that. Um, Collins, yeah, I think I think it just needs to get that confidence back that he mm. that he had before his knock. Um, mm. And I think that'll come back because he's been he's been brill. Um, I think his middle three. I think Benson. Hundred percent. I think um, Luke Connell again. I think he, he, you know, he got bo- he got booed off by Bolton fans. I think yeah. that that, but you know, that's the sort of player he is. He gets mm. stuck in. He, he don't mess about. Um, and I agree with you with Josh Martin. I think um, get get him just behind. Uh, for me, I I agree with Hutchinson and Cole. To be fair. I, I, I'd like to keep one of them on bench just for the pace or anything like that. Uh, but no, Norwood's no slouch either. Norwood's no slouch. Um, but I think <coughs> I think they've got call up, call up, 
sorry, Cole or Aitchinson's got a little bit more more legs in him, if you mm. know what I mean. Um, I'd go with I'd go with Aitchinson and Norwood, in my opinion. I think Cole's been okay. He's been good. I just think again, but Norwood, he hadn't he hadn't really he hadn't really grabbed goals yet, um, which is a bit of a worry. But he still need he still needs to get used to playing out the way that uh, that Duff wants to play. But I'd, I'd go away. I'd go with Aitchinson and, and Norwood, in my opinion. Aitchinson and Norwood. Andy, <clears throat> what's your take on that? Would you, you know, put Williams back mm-hmm. in if he's fit for Edwards or would you keep it as is? What would you do? I'd keep Edwards in. I like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's a good player. Um, like I said um, other day on the video, uh, I, I, I like that Edwards and I'd keep him in. Um, up front... Yeah, I'd, I'd go with um, whoever. If you're keeping somebody up bench, I, I think I'd keep Norwood up bench myself and play Colin Aitchinson. I like uh, Norwood coming off uh, at bench and uh, making an impact. He did Wednesday, didn't um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, apart from that, um, oh, and Midfield. yeah, that Lukashi, that Lukashi as well. I don't think. Um, he sounded like he struggled, didn't he, at, uh, at Bolton? Hmm. I thought he didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't do too bad. I don't think he did too yeah. bad. I just think that. I just think that he just he needs like he needs that game time. Mid time, yeah, he needs yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Midfield, Andy, would you have Martin and Benson and Walker or um, change that? There's, there's Kane as well, isn't there? It's, Kane's Kane, not injured, is he? Phillips. And Philip said, a, a, "Yeah, a, a, I, keep I keep forgetting about that." What I've seen that about Philip Snow when he comes on on a sub, he always puts a shift. He, he never looks out of place. He, look, he, look, he just looks yeah. straight in. Philip, so yeah, it's Philip Snow, I suppose. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting about him, me. Um, yeah. yeah, I think we've got a good uh, a good selection. Of mid- I, I, I'll be happy with. Uh, um, whoever, oh, I mean, whoever we put out anyway in midfield, again, not no disrespect, you know, we, we should be all right, really, shouldn't we? But, uh, uh, like I said before, you can't just uh, take it as a given. Um, I think I'd like, I think I'd like to see Kane start me on Saturday, um, honestly. Um, in place, good. In place, um, good question, good question. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think uh, selection. Edit, I don't know. Can it? I, I'm not. I'm not sure in place of all because the, nobody really needs. I personally think nobody really needs dropping just what's sake can it. But uh, mm. yeah, I, I would like to see Kane start on Saturday because I think he needs a bit of. Uh, well, he needs game time anyway, doesn't he? Um, mm. And probably that bit of confidence as well, which is only going to get just by playing. Um, but I don't know. Uh, both uh, your lineups, I'd be, I'd be happy with, uh, honestly, Lord. School predictions, then. We'll come to Andy. Mm. School prediction. Ooh, um, I'll go for two nil. Why was so far now, then? I'm going to go for <laughs> oh my for what? What <laughs> yeah. about Andy? It's a bad game, mate. Two nil. Two nil. Two red. Dale. Uh, I'll go 3-1 3-1 I'm going to go 2-1 because I think but like uh, like you said fifth goal is going to be crucial I think yeah. uh, it's going to I think if Mark can get fifth goal they're probably going to sit back and make it hard for us if we take fifth goal yeah. and slap them up a bit um, I'm going to say 2-1 Barnsley like you said, we need to take it to them. They're gonna, they know that they're fighting for their lives to get out of thing. And like I say, if they, if they get a goal in front, you know that we're just gonna make it as awkward as hell for us. Mm. So that's why I'm hoping that we can get his, you know, nose <laughs> in front first. Otherwise, it's just gonna be, and because I mean, there's a fair, fair following going and all. You know what I mean? So I'm going. Yeah, uh, and all Steve is as well because uh, I have got Steve a ticket and all, so he's going. He's going on train. And like you were saying, he said it's a ground we haven't been to, and like what we're pleasing as well. We've got a uh, right amount of allocation and all. It's not like obviously you're restricted kind of thing at Fleetwood, but mm-hmm. only limited amount, won it? 
But again, I think travelling support, what we're doing at the minute, is fantastic, you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I think, I forgot who, who came out with to say, I'm not sure if it were Duff or Patterson, Devaney or some of the players have said, you know, it's a difference, it's like 12th man and it really makes a difference to, you know, to players. And I think we can see it as well. I think we can see it in performance as well. Well, what happens when you keep tickets at twenty pound a person? <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah, credit. Uh, yeah, I mean credit to them and all. You know what I mean? I mean some clubs have bought into it and some aren't. I mean, you know, clubs said like twenty is plenty. And I think in this day and age and all, we you know we don't eat harp on about it. We're all living it. You know, cost living and everything. You know, it's like you still got to take into account your travelling costs and you snap them back when you get there. So you know, fair play to clubs that are on board with this twenty is plenty. Um, and them clubs what aren't them that's you know you'll only you only like feel wrath in it kind of thing when you come to bounds because you're, you're not going to get a favour kind of thing you're going to pay a price uh, but yeah that's off to clubs like yeah what Dale said via 20 it is plenty and for me it should be straight across board for ev- everyone that and you can see in attendances what it means you know uh, even midweek games and all because it's people with work commitments and stuff like that Taking their time out to go back, so yeah, good shout on that, Dale. Um, so we're all going for a win, <laughs> as we always do. Famous last words, uh, oh, we haven't jinxed it. Uh, Dale and Andy, <laughs> it's been great to have you on, uh, for your tech on Bolton game and look forward to marking game. <clears throat> all being well, we can be talking at uh, five o'clock Saturday, and we've coming back with three points and a, a nice performance and a decent win, and no injuries because we've got Lincoln and Forest Green coming up and all that, yeah. so. Dale and Andy, appreciate you. Uh, thanks Thank for taking you. time out. Uh, please like, subscribe and share as you always do. One thing left to say, you Reds.